everyone! Today you are going to learn how to compute your body mass index. But before that, let's talk about what BMI is, its importance, and how we can calculate it. BMI is also known as body mass index. It is a physical fitness test used to determine the body composition of a person based on his or her body's ratio of lean muscles to stored fats. BMI is very useful in classifying health risks. For example, based on Paulo's BMI, he needs to eat more to maintain a normal weight. In knowing your BMI, you are going to be aware of what risks your body are into. For you to conduct this test, you need some materials. You need the following. Tape measure to measure your height, weighing scale to measure your weight, calculator to calculate your BMI. First step, you need to get your height. Second is your weight. After that, you're all set. To calculate your BMI, you need a formula. BMI is calculated using this formula. BMI is equal to weight divided by height multiplied by 703. Remember that weight should be expressed in kilogram and height in meter squared. Let's try it. Let's say Pixie has a height of 73 inches and weighs 160 pounds. Let's put it in an equation. BMI is equal to weight divided by height squared times 703. Now, we're going to put Pixie's data here. Pixie's weight is 160 pounds. So let's put it in the equation. Her height is 73 inches and we'll put it in here. Before we calculate the whole equation, let's multiply 73 first by itself because we have a square symbol to make it a whole number. 73 multiplied by itself is equal to 5,329. We multiplied it first to make it easier for us to calculate it. To get the BMI, you need to finish solving the equation. 160 divided by 5,329 times 703 is equal to 21. Now, is a BMI of 21 a good sign or bad? Based on a BMI weight classification, if you have a BMI below 18.5, you are considered as underweight, which usually means you have to gain more weight by consuming more macronutrients. If your BMI is at or between 18.5 to 24.9, you are considered normal, which means you only need to maintain your body weight. If your BMI is at or between 25.0 to 29.9, you are considered as overweight, which means you have to lose some weight. And lastly, if you have a BMI of 30 or above, you are considered as obese. Now, being overweight or obese has its health risks. You might be prone to injuries like sprains because your body can no longer hold your weight or you're prone to sickness like diabetes or hypertension. Computing BMI has another way, as some people tend to get their height in centimeter scale. Let's take this formula. BMI is equal to weight in kilogram divided by height in meter squared. Let's have another example. Apollo has a height of 180 centimeter while he weighs 75 kilograms. BMI is equal to 75 kilograms divided by 180 centimeters. This time, we have the weight in kilogram scale, so it means that you don't have to worry converting it. If you look at the height, it is in centimeter scale. That means 
you need to convert it to meter scale before multiplying it by itself. To convert centimeter into meter, you just have to move the decimal point twice going to the left. So, if you convert 180 centimeter into meter, you will have the conversion 1.8 meters. Now, you got the meter scale. It's time for you to multiply it by itself. If you do that, you will have the answer 3.24. And you just have to finish solving the equation in your calculator. And you will get the answer, Apollo's BMI is equal to 23. Under the BMI weight classification, Apollo is normal. And that's how you calculate your BMI. I hope you learned something today. If you like this kind of video, please leave a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.